All right, what you're looking at is probably two of the oldest breaker boxes still in existence. I'd say they put these in whenever, you know, electricity was first getting installed in buildings back in uh, the 1920s or so. This is a bulldog. It says it's got a safety switch equipped with clampmatic contacts. As you can see there, there's two of these. Vacuum brake. And uh, the fuses that are in these things are these old school busman fuses here. Three phase, 400 amps, 250 volts. And here's what they'll look like if you pull them out because you can rebuild these things actually. We had one right here burn out, lost power in half the building. So, you know, I stopped by, come straight to the problem, pulled it out, and we're going to rebuild this. As you can see here, it's, you know, it, it popped off up there and then run down and it kind of melded around it like sorter. So we're going to sit here at the uh, desk and check this thing out. Pull it apart here and here's what you're, you're looking for now, whether they actually, you know, have these rebuildable pieces in stock nearby, I don't know. But I do have some extra pieces bought long, long ago. You're wanting something like this, Mercury Bus 400 amp over 250 volt. And you can actually rebuild this section of them. Now, I've seen these things where this section here blows out. And, then you know, that could be a little bit more of a problem. Because that's rare that they blow out first. Usually, these pieces here do. So, all you got to do is take your little fasteners off right here. And, uh, you know, rebuild it. And you'll be good to go. So, we'll use our little craftsman set that we got laying here specifically for this. For the most part, these are all 7 16ths and it's got a flat head on the other side. So you just got to break these fasteners loose here. After you break the, the fasteners loose, and then we'll pull this thing apart. Most of the time, you have to have two hands. Now, once you get them loosened up there, you don't have to take them completely apart because the way these are made, you just need them loosened up enough to be able to pull these things off here. As you can see, one goes over, one pulls out. Sometimes you might take a screwdriver and actually push down on it other times these things will pop right off here and then we will install it the same way so as you see that one will pull out this one will go over now as you can see here this one's the same mercury bus 400 amp over 250 volts that's what we were looking for right there and then we will pull what's left of this one out from under here clean it up a little bit and take yourself a little screwdriver or something you know something basic just scrape all this stuff off there. That way you know it's going to get good contact and, you know, get whatever's left of the metal here off of it. That way when you put it all back together, you're going to get a good connection without anything uh, interfering with it, shorting it out, you know, stuff like that. Then we do the reinstall. You're going to put the straight one in right here. You're going to want to hold up on this and push right up and under it there. That way it'll go straight in and then this one you just hold this up and you slide this right under it like so make sure it's all nice and tight and in place and then you're going to tighten your fasteners down and then put your body back on and you can even take yourself some pliers and just kind of push it down if you need to if it's a little bit tight just make sure it's in there nice snug and even that way nothing's gonna you know stand out sit out anywhere be nice and straight you ain't got a screwdriver handy put your pliers back there you can hold the outside of the flat head and then go ahead and tighten your fasteners up and then slide it right back inside of its body and give it a test put your ohms meter on it you hear that beeping sound it's good to go